Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. You know, walking around this place is never going to get old for me, that's for sure. And I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. As for me, it is going to be an amazing day. And what I mean by that is Diddy and Dixie are finally going in that big enclosure up front. Now, it's a little bit stressful for me because I realize that there's a chance that they could get a little stressed out and not be as personal for a little while, but they will absolutely come around to it. I promise you, they'll get used to that within the next week or so. Remember, when we even just switch a water bowl with Bella, she freaks out. So it's going to take them a little time to adjust, but once they do, it's going to be amazing having that large enclosure for these guys because they're definitely getting really, really big and Diddy is amazing. So let's go ahead and work on that enclosure get these guys moved and start to clean this enclosure for the new thing that's about to show up. Obviously, we're gonna do a lot of foliage in here, but right now I just wanna get these guys in it. And one of the big challenges that we're gonna have with glass in the front and glass here is we know that rhino iguanas, well, all iguanas will sneeze out sodium, right? So they kind of mess up their window a lot. So Fritz actually sent me this uh, glass and acrylic cleaner. And basically it's almost like, you know that rain -X stuff that you can actually spray on your windshield and it'll actually kind of protect it from water spots and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead, spray this all over white it off that way it's easier to clean to keep this clean because that will be a little bit of a challenge then I'll get some bedding in here some water in here uh, and then we'll just go ahead and release them and hopefully they'll enjoy it so first things first let's uh, give this product a try I know they're gonna probably be a little stressed, you know, which is understandable with this new huge enclosure, but I think it's gonna be amazing once they get kind of the hang of it. Come on, you two monkeys. Let's go. You ready? You ready? Come on. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Come on. Fitty. Dixie, what are you doing, silly? <laughs> oh my gosh. Dixie! Dixie! Ah! <laughs> now I'm in trouble. I'm just gonna crawl in here and hopefully it'll come off. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. Come on. Come on. Get, 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 get. Hold that. Go ahead. Go ahead, Dixie. There you go, sweetheart. She's not letting me go. Oh, there. Diddy's already off. Hey, guys. So I'm going to just step out real quick, and I'm going to let them just kind of be in here and kind of get used to their new environment. But look at how amazing they look. I mean, how cool is that? They are going to love it. And I'm hoping that what happens is that they get really comfortable just like they were in the other enclosure and that they'll come down right to here or even over to here for pets and we can take them out and feed them and stuff like that. People that want to come and interact with them, they'll come right down. So I, I tell you what, this has went way better than I expected. I thought when I put them in there they were going to freak out, but they seem to be really calm and seem to be enjoying it. So again, I'm gonna take a little bit of time and enjoy this. Then I'm gonna break down their habitat and then we'll get the new animal that will unbox that goes into that habitat. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. hatch out. Oh my god, look how small. This one looks like a nice little harlequin. So how do you know it's a harlequin? There are two that look really similar, harlequins and flames. Now, I won't be able to 100% tell this one because I'm a little bit newer to this until it gets a little more size on it, but I think it's going to be a harlequin because if you look, it's got those little spots on the side. Oh, okay. That's what harlequin is. Yep. Huh? So the flames don't have any side pattern or very little side pattern, um, and then the harlequins will have at least some, and then there's something called extreme harlequin where it almost connects to the dorsal patterning. Gotcha. Gotcha. Very cool. So I actually have another set of eggs to collect from the mom of this one today. There's Columbia in there. Hi, She's mama. a Dalmatian. So she looks way different than the baby that popped out actually. You could kind of see how uh, how variable they are. Their genetics are uh, called polygenic. Wow, that was so quick. That's a master right there. Yeah, they barely uh, cover their eggs. Those look perfect. So I'll set them up right in here. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this, this cage up, get it prepped for another animal. I'm actually not even sure what, what animal's gonna be put on it yet, but uh, 
I, I know there's gonna be a lot of really cool things that could potentially come in here and actually potentially go in here. So I wanna make sure things are really, really clean, really, really nice and sanitary. So whatever is moved in here, this will be a really, really good home from the move in. Here that animal is, guys. I tell you what, there's, uh, I think I say this a lot, that dream animal, so, and I guess they all are really, but this is an animal that honestly, 10 years ago, I thought that there was no even chance to get this animal my entire life. I mean, not because I couldn't afford it or not because of the fact, it just wasn't available. And uh, I cannot believe that I am about to add this to the Reptarium. It's crazy to me. So let's just go ahead, jump into it and see what this little dude does. It, oh my gosh, I can't see it's in a bag. It's really nice and warm. Oh my gosh, it's very warm actually. So I am going to just get into this. And, and like I said, this is, uh, I had the pleasure, I'm going to let it out of the bag a little bit here, uh, literally and figuratively, but I had the pleasure of working with these guys when I was in Australia the very first time. And I remember just being like blown away and just going, please one day let me have this animal. And here we are just seconds away from getting my first eyeballs on this thing. If I can ever get this open without cutting myself. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You have to be kidding me. I am flipping out right now, guys. You ready? Oh. Here he is! Oh, it's okay, buddy. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. We're friends. We're friends. We're friends. We're friends. We're friends. Just gotta get him to, you know. Obviously, he's pretty hyped up. Of course, a Bell's Phase lace monitor. And this was actually a Bell's to Bell's, and unbelievable. But of course, after the shipment, he's kind of freaking out. These guys can be very socialized and very habituated, and I just gotta get him out of that that kind of freak out mode into intelligence mode. And a lot of times, just holding him up a little bit and just letting him get out of it. It's okay, buddy. There you go, you're starting to calm down now. Look at that animal, and again, these animals weren't available at all in the United States, so I never thought I would have an opportunity to ever even see one in a private collection. Now they're being bred pretty regularly. Now the bells, and even the super bells like this one, are being readily available. I mean, they're still not easy to get, but you can't get them, and there are people that are really working with them, but this is like, Honestly, one of the coolest monitor lizards in the world, in my opinion. Again, never expected to ever be holding one or potentially adding it to our collection here at the Reptarium. It's crazy. I mean, this is outrageous. Just look at that animal. Look how intelligent it is. Look how it's looking around. It's wanting to figure things out. And again, you can see, now that it got into intelligence mode, that tongue is coming out good. He's looking around, trying to figure everything out. You can see he's no longer freaking out at all. Just a beautiful animal. And again, this is a male, Bell's face. I'm gonna ask you guys, what do you think I should name this? I love it. I mean, I absolutely love it. I mean, I can't. I'm in awe right now. I can't even believe that this animal is gonna live its life with me right now. On, there you go, buddy. You can hang out up there. Completely, <laughs> oh my gosh. And they love to climb, and that's the thing. Whoa! <laughs> there you go, buddy. You ain't even caught kamikaze on me. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Again, we'll continue to socialize and work with this. I couldn't be more happy with it. So what do you say we introduce him to his new habitat? Of course, Dixie and Diddy's old cage. And I tell you what, I've got a couple crew members I think are gonna be pretty excited about this one. Now they have some pretty sharp nails, so just be prepared. He's pretty chill though. It's oh a boy. God, way bigger than I thought he would be. Yeah, I right. thought he'd be like right so out of the egg. So pretty. Oh my like God, amazing. look at you. It's pretty chill, you know? Yeah. Oh my God, how are, oh. Mm. Isn't that ridiculous? Oh, You're a little heart. nervous. Oh, be still my heart. It's so cute. <laughs> I don't know. We, we we've been working so hard with the, the the water monitors and the and the Nile monitors. You don't realize how long of a neck this thing oh, has. Oh, such a long Dang. neck. It's crazy. Okay. And then that tree monitor side of just those sharp nails are just ridiculous. But 
It's uh, it's pretty socialized yeah. already. You know, it's actually it's not really like freaking out. Really no, much. it's very it's a good. Little nervous. It's a little it's nervous. Easy. It doesn't know what's going on yet, but I have a feeling it's going to I mean, be a kind of really good animal. You are. Oh my god. Oh yeah, my like, god. Oh my, god. <laughs> oh my freaking god. Yeah, this is the bells to bells, so it should stay clean, more clean than a normal bells. Because okay. sometimes does it bells stay will stay yellowy or does it uh, cream out? It'll get more more white definitely. Okay. So, yeah. so typically when we when we have this set up and stuff, are we wanting more of a like a like are we leaning more towards like an arboreal setup? With Absolutely this arboreal. That's why I was gonna put him in Diddy and Dixie so that he can crawl up and up on that uh those branches get close to the light, you know, he's got lots of climbing room. Eventually, obviously gonna need a big cage that will have lots of climbing branches but uh for now i think diddy and dixie's cage is going to be good so uh you guys want to release it yes oh let's God. do let's it let's go let's go dude oh my god that's what it you kind of reminds me of that crocodile the way it looks around oh, it yeah. does look yeah, like yeah, a crocodile really it's very face. very attentive like like when you present your hand to him, usually even the water motors won't tip their head down to look at yeah, it first. he's like oh he's very smart or very astute especially for right out of the box you'd think he'd be like yeah. like no he's out. happy he's like Oh, he's like, Let's get it go. Go. I'm see, I'm, I'm excited. Okay, so you ready? Here you go, buddy. There you go. You can climb all you want. All That's gonna be happy. <sighs> bucket list. Check. Check off the bucket list right there. That's a badass. <laughs> Getting the gift shop ready, and uh, we got a ton. So look at this! Oh my God, a tarantula! <laughs> of course, these are all the little plushies that Lori ordered. Oh my God! Oh, a little Bowser! Oh my <laughs> gosh! That, they're so much bigger than I expected when you showed me, Lori. That's crazy. Yeah. We got all these snakes. Look at these things! Oh my God, this is gonna be so cute. I'm excited about. You can't about have them all. Oh my God! I know gosh. you're gonna want to keep them all. That is so cool. And all these boxes here are all, oh my God, a cobra. <laughs> oh my gosh, how cool is that? Oh my gosh. How cute is that? Crikey. <laughs> what a ripper. Oh my God, that is so dope. So all these boxes are plushies. Obviously we've got to find spots all over the place for this stuff. So it's so exciting guys. I mean, literally we're talking like, I think six days till we open the 13th. Oh my gosh. We have a lot of work a to do, to but uh, it is crazy. And this is exciting. I can't wait to see what else Lori has. <laughs> Holy cow, I mean, just watching this lace monitor move around, Totally different animal compared to say the water monitors or Nile monitors. Uh, more inquisitive, really, really receptive of what's going on. So I'm enjoying kind of learning the behavior. It's gonna be a long process of really understanding what's in that thing's mind, but it's incredible. I couldn't be more happy. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate you watching. I have a podcast channel called Checking In. I think you guys will enjoy it. You can subscribe to that right over here. Here's a playlist of a bunch of videos. On this side, you can subscribe to this vlog and you can turn those post notifications on for me. If you don't mind, while you're at it, can you hit that like button? Have a wonderful day. Remember to be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.